Let's set up Flame with Flutter to create a game. Create a new project. Flutter, create, and the name of your project. We'll call ours Flame underscore tutorial. Open up your editor. I'm using Visual Studio Code on Windows 10. In the main.dart file, I'm going to delete everything. Right now, we just have the, the one import. I'll put the main function back. I'm going to run the tests on an existing Android emulator that I have here. Should be completely white on the screen of the Android emulator. The main thing we're looking for is this um, debug message that I'm using just to show that the main function is running. Let's install Flame. On pub.dev, I'm actually going to install the pre-release here, 0.0.0-RC7. We're going to use the base class. You can call the anything. I'm going to call it my game extends base class or base game. Now that I have this class here, I, I can use the Flutter run app with a, a game widget, so which is from Flame. So this should look familiar. And with Flame, we've got a, a, a new thing for a game widget. It accepts a parameter game. And we'll just pass it our the game that we the game object that we made. The game uh, widget here, we're going to have to uh, import it. I have to we quit, quit the app and restart it again. Right now, the screen on the Android emulator is all black, which is what we would expect. I'm going to set it up to load some sprites or some graphics here but for that we need to set up a on load you don't need these print statements i'm just putting it in so that you can see what's happening so theoretically, when you load the base class, what's going to happen is that this thing should load and it should print out the debugging message here. And it's loading the asset. So this method here is running when you load the, the base class. Congratulations, you've just installed Flame for Flutter and you have it working. We're now in a great position to go to the next video. Where we're going to take some sprites that you can download from the internet such as this site, GameArt2D, and get the sprites into your new mobile app game so that you can start working on the exciting game logic. Check out that next video now. And congratulations again on installing Flame for Flutter.